it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Let's get into a video all about making these gorgeous labels and I'll give you the measurements and everything that I do so that you can create something that suits your brand and is absolutely beautiful. So let's get going and make some absolutely stunning labels. So of course I need to organize the labels. So these are the cute ones that we're going to be doing today, which is one of my candles called Sweet Baby. And it's basically um, sort of like a baby powder scent with a bit of vanilla in it. And it's really, really beautiful and super duper popular. So anyway, like I said, this is the one I've done to start with. So I've written what it is. It has a wood wick, the grams that are in it, of course the name, and then the writing down the side is just a little bit of a warning that I do um, also add onto mine. So these are the first ones. So this is going to be wrapped around the candle. And then let me just go into this bit. And then this bit here is um, what I'm going to be um, actually doing for the top of the label I wasn't going to but then I thought let's just create one that goes around the top so the reason that you can see this gray here if you can see the gray around the edge um, I've left that because when I'm going to put this in Canva I'm going to remove the background but you can also remove the background when you save this in Canva just um, make sure you click and I'll show you on here what I'm actually doing so we'll pretend we're going to download it. So if you see here where it says transparent background, you're going to click the transparent background and then it's going to remove all this gray area. So that's why I've done that. But make sure when you're making the stickers, you need to make the background different because that will actually allow you to do that. If you don't want to print them yourself, you can literally just go down and print the stickers from Canva and the quality is absolutely amazing. But look how cute these look. Don't they look darling? So also you'll see that the writing, I put a slight curve on it just to make it a little bit different. So I'm going to get my cre cut out because the cre cut will cut around the circle and make it all gorgeous. And um, then from there, I will have these gorgeous labels and we'll get making these really pretty little candles. For those of you that have never used a cre cut before, this is exactly what you do. So we've just got our cre cut here. We're just going to push this button here, which says open. And then what will actually happen is it's going to be opening the whole section because this is where we slide the paper into here once it's all ready. So from here I've plugged it into my PowerPoint down the bottom and then there is actually a second cord so let me grab that cord and I'm actually holding this by hand today while I'm actually showing you so I'm sorry if it looks a little bit uh, crazy. So then we've got this little piece here and then this piece here is going to be connected into our laptop. So this is my little laptop we're just going to connect it into the side of of the laptop um, let me just see if you can see there and we're just going to push that in there and then that's it because then basically our laptop can be talking um, you know to our pre-cut machine so let me just push this in here all right so it's in there now and now what we're going to do is go back to here we're going to push this on which is the power button and you'll be able to see the machine is warming up doing its thing so it knows that it's on now, after we've done that, if you have a look here on the dial, you need to set this dial to the right one. So you can see it's set to the wrong one. So we're just going to turn this around because we're making vinyl and we're going to just um, put it onto the vinyl setting. If you're doing paper, you can use this one here. If you're using the printable paper from Stanley Packaging, just put it on this. If you're actually using the clear papers from Stanley Packaging, Honestly, I've tried every single dial. The only one that works is the really hard board because it's such a thick plastic to cut through. And I don't know why, but it's the only one that works. None, none of the others will work. And um, I've got a Cre-Cut Air. So that's the one I've got, which I think is roughly about, uh, I think I paid $500, but I think now they're cheaper. I think you probably get them for 400 now. Um, but anyway, let's get going. And like I said, we're going to do the next bit. So from here, we have our design. So now what we need to do is put this into Cre-Cut. So I've actually opened up my Cre-Cut and then all I'm gonna do is I've just inserted my pictures in. So to show you what I'm doing, we'll cancel this 
and we'll go up. so this is basically just your board of cre-cut so you can see here what i've done is i've got my little images here and some are small some are big because some are for bigger candles and some are small so my bigger candles i know that i want these to be about 7.5 centimeters so if you can see here this is where you tell it um the width and the height of it and of course it's um you know it's a round sticker so it's basically going to be very very similar um, so then that's literally it and if we want to upload a new one we're just going to push the upload button and you know we you can browse something from your computer which would be here or something that I've already downloaded in here so nice and easy and these ones you can see here I downloaded last night that's actually for my lip balms so um, yeah so you can do so so many different things um, with this it's really amazing and then if I want to make it so like I want to actually start to do it all you do is push the make it button and we will see um, what's going to happen it will go into the next um, screen so let me just get out of this one first and make it just means that it's coming into this so we know these stickers are right so we'll go up to here like I said push the make it button because I've already measured them up and now we can see it's fitting on the screen it's fitting onto one piece of paper which is what I want so now once I actually tell it to print it it's going to print it through to my printer and then from the printer, I'm going to put it onto its board and then we're going to print it through the Cricut. So we're just going to push the button down the bottom, which says continue. So let's continue. We'll say uh, send to printer because we want to print this. And if you did a plain vinyl and there was no printing, you just sort of cut around it, you wouldn't need to do this, but I print it so that it has my name and everything on. And the smart thing, if you're doing Cricut, what I do is I create all these on Canva. I save them as an image and that way the image, the writing, the text, everything is in one group to make it easier. So now all I'm gonna do is just push, um, keep going. But uh, for now, I just need to organize um, my printable vinyl so let me just get that first this is what the printable vinyl looks like so it's quite thick and um, it prints it on there so basically I'm using a matte vinyl you can get a shiny and then that is the back of it so the smooth part is the front of it and then we're just going to pop it into a printer so we're going to just take one piece out just so I can show you what I'm actually um, doing and I'll move this aside. This is my printer that I use. Lots of people ask me about it. It's only a cheap HP printer and it is from um, Big W, which is a department store in Australia. So I've just put in my printable vinyl in the top. And because this one um, is a wire free, so it actually talks to my um, laptop. So all I need to do is push print on the laptop. It will print through here and then we're ready to go. So let's just push print. And it will start to make its little magic. So let's watch it um, do everything so you can see the button's ready. And it will take some time because it is thicker. But anyway, it's started to print now. So we will wait and see the magic. So the black line around the outside you need, that's how the um, Cricut actually measures everything to the side. And I mean, look how beautiful these labels are coming out. And the great thing about these is um, they actually, they don't run. The watercolor doesn't run when you print it on vinyl. So here you go, this is what we have printed. I mean, how sweet are they? So now we'll put them on the machine, cut them, and um, I'll show you the next bit. So now we're just going to be popping it onto the mat. So this is a very used mat, as you can tell. So all we're going to do is just put it into the corner. So it does need to go into each corner. And then this is basically a sticky mat. So there's all different levels of the sticky that you want. And of course, I'm doing this with one hand. So we're just going to put it on. I will neaten this up in a second. We'll just, because you want it to be, you know, uh, along the line that you can see here. That's where we sort of want it to sit. And um, you can get different stickies on here. So make sure you don't get the super sticky one because paper will get stuck to it otherwise. But as you can see, we're gonna stick it through here and now let's go over to the Cricut and we'll print them out. So I'm actually at the Cricut now. So now what we're gonna do is if you can see, it has little uh, holders on each side. So we're just going to literally hold it in that. And then this little button here is telling us to load it in. So what we're doing is loading it in and then this is grabbing the machine to make sure it's all in place. Then all we're going to do is push this little um, the RC, and then that means it's going to start to cut it. 
So we're putting that in and our computer will say scanning so we know that it's um, right. And remember too, like I said, you need to keep everything connected. So basically the start of it, if you can see that little light, what it's doing is it's just going along all of the edges to see that it's done right. Um, if your machine is not cutting it in a right circle or a right square, it just means that you may need to go back into the settings and just double check that it's all good. The one thing I've noticed is if I do like a really bright coloured background as the circle, um, often that just seems to not cut very well. So I don't know why, but anyway, that's exactly why it um, does that. So now it's going to the start again, like I said, and what it's doing now is it's just going to literally cut around the circle. So you can see it cutting um, around the circle. So literally it's going to make it all gorgeous. And now from here, um, we're going to put them on the lids. So these are the lids that I use. I get these from Pure Candle Supplies. They um, are just white. They do matte white. They do wood. They do black. They do rose gold. I think silver. There's quite a few that they do. So um, you can definitely do that. And then, of course, these are the candle types that I use. This is obviously a different one I've already um, done. So, yeah. And so all we're going to do, like I said, is just print these out, make it gorgeous. And then we will also print out the other part of the label um, as well. But I thought this is really good because I do get so many people asking me how to do these. And if I can do a, com um, a comparison for you, if I get like a paper sticker made, even from Vistaprint in this larger size here, it works out to be anything from 60 cents to um, about a dollar, uh, I think a dollar up to a dollar 80, I think, per sticker. So, um, and of course, when it's 60 cents, you've got to buy like 500 or something like that. But this piece of paper here, I think um, this printable vinyl is about $1.70 a sheet. And as you can see, I've got lots of them in here. So it's definitely so much cheaper. It's quarter of the price to print it yourself if you can do it and you have a Cree cut or you're really good cutting it yourself. Um, but anyway, it's done that. So let's get the jars and we'll organize the next step. Now here is the jars that we're going to be using and I'm sorry you can hear the lawnmower but my husband has started it of course. So I have the super large which is 400 grams, then this one which is 220, then this little bubsy tin which is going to be 90 grams. So but we're not going to be making candles today, this is just going to be all about um, making these labels. So from here we're going to of course attach all of the labels on. So. Let's get going and I'll show you um, exactly how I've done it and I'll give you the sizes as well. So now let's get going. We do have our sizes here and the main suggestion that I would have, which I do actually have here, is just have a paper towel so that when you're laying them down, we're gonna lie them on this. So we'll start with, of course, the stickers for these because I've printed um, some of these out as well. So like I said, these are the ones that we've done. So now the top one, which is, this is a big candle, which is an extra large size candle. Um, this particular circle one is going to be measuring, um, what did I say it was going to be measuring? 7.5 centimeters. So, and then we're just going to pop it in the middle in here and it does look really cute. I mean, and look how cute that looks. You could do it bigger if you wanted, but then that means you can't fit as many on the sheet. So I think 7.5 is more than five fine for that big one. And then we will do the second one. Now I have to tell you when I did these, I think next time I'm going to do these a little bit bigger, but I will use the ones that I've got because it doesn't matter. It's just a sticker um, on the top, isn't it? So let me just pull these ones off the sheet. And do remember, like I said, they're printable vinyl as well. So then this is the baby one. This one here, I think I made this five centimeters, but next time I think I'm gonna make it 6.5 centimeters because you can see it looks really tiny. And then this one here, I think this should have been five centimeters, but I didn't um, make it that. I think I made it four. So anyway, so from now on, I think these ones will be five centimeters. This one, 6.5 centimeters. This one, 7.5 centimeters so like I said we'll just do the last one and even if they're smaller and they don't go around the whole lid it doesn't matter it's just to make it look cute and so that people can pick it up and know what it is exactly and then that is the baby one I mean how adorable is that 
so now we've done the lids we will set these aside and as I said now we do have our um, paper towel because we want to lie it down this way so that we can actually put, put our labels on so I've also made these ones as well which is my squares oh these are rectangle actually and then these small ones are going to be on the tins so to start with we're just going to do the big ones and you'll get the idea I'm going to do the same on that but just a smaller size and so then this is what this one looks like in the rectangle one which I think um, if I'm right this is uh, here from you know your top to your bottom in your height I think this works out to be seven uh, centimeters by nine so nine centimeters in width so all we're going to do is make sure um, we put them in here. Don't put it down too low because otherwise the roundness of the jar will make it not smooth at the bottoms. Um, and then we're just going to press it along, make sure it's nice and smooth. And I mean, look how cute that looks. So adorable. So I thought I would actually show you. So then of course we're going to put the lid on. And so when someone buys it, this is exactly what it's going to look like. I mean, how cute. If you didn't want that, you could put your logo on the top, which I do have some with my logo um, as well. So I'll show you the black one I've done with the logo. So this is my other jar with, you know, its logo on. So that's what that looks like if you're going to do it in black as well. And of course you would change the picture on it depending on whatever your picture is or whatever your logo or whatever um, you wish to have them on as well. And now these ones here are my little baby ones for the tins. So um, they're really, really cute, aren't they? So I think these ones are seven centimeters long by 2.5 centimeters in height. And the thing is, I used to wrap them all the way around there, but it actually costs more money to do that. So if you just do a small bit, that's all you need to do. And we're just going to attach this into um, my little tin, of course. And so then this is what it looks like in the tin. And we'll put the little lid on. I mean, how adorable is that? So really cute. And then also one thing that you cannot forget, 100% you can't forget, is you need to have your legal labels on the bottom. You can buy these ones. I don't make my own of these. I just buy them already pre-done. It just talks about burning and making sure it's done right. So then just turn them upside down and um, just put it on the bottom and that way it's on that. If I, when people order from my site, I wrap this up in foam as well. And then once it's actually in foam, then I wrap it in my branded tissue paper. And I always put one of these stickers on the top as well, on top of the tissue paper, because that way, you know, you're covering all of the things you need to cover legally. But I hope uh, today has been a really good video showing you how I actually make the labels, the measurements and so on. So uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you think it's worthy, of course. And um, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.